Good morning, good folk of the world. It is Tim, and I'm in the Lake District, and I'm about to do, it's called the 10 in 10. It, here we are, it's 10 in 10. 10, in 10. So this is Rupert, my man. Can you just explain what 10 in 10 is? Yeah, so the 10 in 10 challenge, um, is basically 10 Lake District peaks in 10 hours and it's kind of designed for it was basically a friend yeah we're getting some yeah a friend of ours um in because it was one of kind of the late district lead climbers unfortunately he was diagnosed with MS um a number of years ago so him and his wife started organizing challenges and it's kind of culminated into this event every year and you know they raise hundreds of thousands of pounds have been raised through Fair these less. events these, these are some of the peaks that you're going to go. Yeah. So, on that's the final peak up there. So, that's Maiden Moor. Yeah. And then you've got Robinson in the distance. Oh, okay, I've never done that so one. Yeah. You've got, you know, and, and then you come back along the bottom of Amazing. Cat Belt. It is yeah. an absolutely fantastic day. Wicked. I'm just going to check in now, and then it's nearly 6 30. They said walkers should start between 6 30 and 8 30. So, get it. And it's going to be such a toasty day. Solstice was yesterday. So, longest days are here. We'll take our time and enjoy it. But. Could be a hot one up there. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. Right. Right, the fella. Go on. Good Good little little Cheers. Right, sure. Thanks, ladies. See ya. Right. Off we go. Out of Swinside. So we are headed. There's Causey Pike, the first summit. Fox gloves are out in full force right now. Look at that, gorgeous. <laughs> Nearly at the top of climb number one. I didn't have a plan coming into it because I didn't know I was going to do this till yesterday. Rupert mentioned it and I thought, oh, while I'm here, Get some training in, walk every climb, but don't stop the climbs till you get to the top. So, finding that pace to walk at and then maybe a stretch on the top of each. It's not fun being in the front because I didn't have to come around the way. Yeah, oh really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little stretch of the calves. On we go. We're actually at the front, but it's not a race. That's three. Three down. There's a lovely little switchback coming up, up sail. So the other day I was here, I did the cold out horseshoe, which actually comes reverse along this ridge. And I filmed it all, but I've not made a video from it. So we're making today's video. Saw some uh, Bob Graham has set off last night. That's so motivational. One day, one day, that is a goal. If I had to list top three goals, I don't think I could name another two. If I had to think I could find some, but Bob Graham is definitely one. So, I've always been working towards it, truthfully. Fixing my body so that I could do that. But, so I have been on that goal, but I've not been able to get to a stage of uh, frequent running till recently. All right, I've got a number on me back. Uh, 3.40. Hey, bud. I'm at the front and I think the marshals might not be in place on some of the later hills if we go too fast. So, we'll see. Hello. Hello. Light. Where are we? Um, Crag Hill. Crag Hill. The highest point of sort of leg one, right? Yeah, nice one. Thanks, Marshall. Right. Cheers. Okay, dog. Gonna have a little fuel. Shout out Rupert, Mountain Fuel. These are wicked. Kind of like, they're not gels that make your mouth all sticky. They're like jellies. Actually really refreshing, which you would never expect coming out of these packs. It's mega, fair play. Big up Mountain Fuel. See why it's called Craig Hill now. Hey, hello. Good to go. Good to Cheers, go. guys. Thank you very much. Cheers, Marshals. 
I prefer I prefer the grass to the yeah softer. Did you what? Cause, by accident. <laughs> Okay. Descending down into Buttermere. Basically, the course is essentially in two legs from sort of Keswick side do and water up and over into Buttermere, and then we go up and up back over another way. So there's the first aid station, first and only aid station down here. It's the end of the descent. It's been a long, long descent. My quads are feeling it. Um, but it's a good feeling to feel this again. It's been a while since doing being out for a day with a long descent like this and uh, part of a group on the run. There's a little chapel. Uh, There's a food station there as well. Cheers guys, thank you. That skyline is the ridge from Causey Pike, Crag Hill and down. And climbing here. They also do a five and five for those that don't want to do the full 10 and 10 and it starts a little later at the Buttermere start so it's the second leg going back into Keswick. There we go, little sign. 10 and 10, got to hit this peak. Oh my god. GoPro is so handy but they just can't capture this the way it looks over there. Scoffo Pike is that way somewhere. That might actually be Scoffo there. So far we've done 1,300 meters of climbing. Thank you. <laughs> Different dogs on every summit, it's lovely. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> Is it round or just no, straight no, over? Basically straight over. Straight up, up there. Side. Is that Robinson? Yeah, that's Robinson. Thank you very much, Marshall. Cheers. What have you got, boy? What have you got? Next stop, Robinson. It's one of my biggest inspirations, other than certain athletes and uh, musicians, I guess. Those are my main two, artists and athletes. Oh, actually, and this, I understand that I never, I never liked anime for years. I never watched it, but I watched Avatar, The Last Airbender, Ang. I think I got into it because I watched, there's one clip on YouTube which I recommend. If you don't watch anime, just watch this and it goes through the seven chakras in one episode. It's like a 10 minute section of one episode where he sees this sort of monk on the mountain and he explains to him what each chakra does and how to unlock it, how it gets blocked, how to unlock it. And there's a 10 minute, it's talk on YouTube. So I'd say, watch that search avatar chakras and it will come up how to unlock your seven chakras. And I think from that, I was like, whoa, what is this show? And then watch the show. And you know, that was sort of the, one of the peak moments of, of spiritual, guidance within that show but it's, it's a great show and there are other moments and just the good nature of the child and then beyond that i wanted to find another one so i searched found for some reason in my head i was like maybe there's something that can recommend shows and i found something where you put in because i don't like big long fight scenes big muscly fighters that just and these like three episode fight scenes or whatever that was in dragon ball z not no different dragon ball z i never never got into it but i just wasn't really drawn to that in my head so I found something online and you can put in what you'd sort of like in a show, what the, what in the, the main characters would be like, do you want it to be set on earth or in space or some other realm, what time period, sort of, and it's just like a list of like 10, 15 questions and you answer them. Do you want his best friend to be a jerk or nice or whatever? Like it gives you uh, multiple choice answers for each question. And you go through and it recommended to me Hunter x Hunter. And I was just coming out of my fast and I started watching it. And oh my gosh, it was so inspiring. The main character, Gone, is just the way he's written. And similar to Ang in a way, there's an innocence and there's also a strength within him, like a self-determination, a self-belief, but also innocent and just and just never attached to another until obviously he gets really deep and stuff. But no one really throws them off. And another person can't take their power in terms of their emotional power until it gets really peak, you know. But for the most part, very balanced and, and always confident in their ability against anything. And it's so inspiring to see. So I would recommend if you don't watch anything, just the first season and the 1990, because they remade it in 2011, I think. 
there's like an older, whatever the old, the original one was of that was just phenomenal, that, that, the story and just the character. But I think the beauty of it is with anime, what you can do with cartoon, because I always liked South Park and things. I found them funny because they can make, write stories that you can never do with humans. With a human, our facial structure, our character, our, our figure, everything is made up of our life, our experiences. Obviously there's some genetics, but also people's face hold a certain truth about who they are. They're in their eyes and stuff. It's seen the way their muscular features are shaped is, is affected by the way people are day to day. You know, they say, don't hold your face like that. Oh, it's super buggy. Oh, wet feet. And if the winds change, you might stay that way. You know, people's face stays that way. Like some people are, can be, you know, bitchy by nature and their face and what holds that. That's just how it is sometimes. But um, so if you have a character that's an actor playing these stories, it's hard to find the right character that can act, that's so innocent that you're not associating him, him or her with some other show. Anyway, with a cartoon, you can write a character and create them. And then there's no history with that person that's built into them as a human. There's some subconscious awareness when we see a human, obviously with a story that we can subconsciously get from their, from their face and their character. And like all actors are drawing from something in their life when they act. So with a character that's, uh, that a writer can just write, there's an ability to remove themselves from the person and write from a really pure place of how a human would act with no ego or attachment to situation. You know, there's a certain flow of writing they can put into a character like Gon and Ang, Ang that is so beautiful and pure and, and really inspirational. And then when they put it on a cartoon as well, you know, th then it's, it takes it to a whole nother world. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. If you, you may be into anime and you've not watched Hunter x Hunter, or you may not have ever watched anything, maybe watch that Ang clip of a, uh, avatar when he does the chakras if you're into spirituality and chakras and it might help you get into something like that i'm also watching peaky blinders which i'm really enjoying i think a new season of that comes out fairly soon and that character tommy shelby is powerful not necessarily in the same nice way but there is still a there's still a a purity to his character and a, a good nature that's hidden behind the actions that i think you get a show can sort of show, a TV show can show that in real life, I think every human or every human has got the best intentions, haven't they? But in a show like that, you can see how it is. Anyway, look at these cotton fields. This is glorious. On to the next ascent. You know how people say like, what would Jesus do? WWJD. And I think it is a good question to have whoever it is for you, it might be a friend, someone around you. I've thought in the past, so what would JME do? Stuff like that. He's very pure and self-determined. Um, what would Goan do? Like if I'm in a situation and I react a certain way and I'm not happy with how I've reacted, you know, I'm like, oh, why do you react like that? Because you're, you're too, I was too attached. I was too in, I was too affected by something in a flash moment and there's a deeper root issue that, that triggers something in me. And I become aware of it and just think, how would so-and-so have reacted in that situation? They wouldn't have took it personally. And then it would have been a light-hearted response. I know I can get serious sometimes. I'm sure other people can as well in our reactions to stuff when nothing is personal or it wasn't meant in a certain way that we've taken it. And then afterwards you're like, oh, didn't need to take it that way. So just trying to remember that and think, how would that person act? And it's not necessarily that it's that person. It's just how would someone with less ego or less take it they don't take things personally if things aren't personal how would you react to that if you when you can acknowledge that in the moment of it happening to you because it damn seems like it's for you but it's really nothing is personal it's all a reflection and projection of someone's own thing or we see a, a situation that's not how it's meant to be and we create that from our history come from a present place rather than creating the future from our past start now so at 6.45 yesterday evening, I watched four people, two men and two women, from the dark, the dark peak, from the dark peak, set off to run the Bob Graham round, 
which is a 42 peak route around here. We've got 24 hours to do it. About 70 something miles, 8,000 meters of climbing. That was 6.45 yesterday, it's now 9.45. 15 hours later, I ate food after that. I slept, I got up early. I've done a whole heap of hills. I'm still doing this route, I'm like three and a half hours in. I'll be finished and they'll still be out for another seven hours doing this, what I'm doing now, what I've slept since an eight and breakfast and dinner and all this. They've been out the whole time, the whole night to complete this challenge. It's phenomenal. They'll still be out long after I'm done. Inspirational. Are you inspired by any characters, anime, manga, TV? Who, which characters inspire you and why? Let me know, I could check some out. I'm in the in lineup for a new anime. God is in the dogs. Got his dog backwards. Oh, you love it, don't you? He loves mountains so much. Look at him. Any trail. Make his own path. It's only fair. They wanted out. Alright, morning. Alright. Coming up Dale Head now. I feel alright actually. My feet are happy. They're a bit jealous of my ears, so I had to let them out. You can see the run back. It's along this. Ridge made a moor and the cat bells is there and in that little valley is the end swim sides down at bottom of Causey Pike. Hello. 340. 340. 340. Thank you. Well, cheers. Hold on. Alright, cheers. You got a flat jack or yeah, we do, yeah. 340. Thank you guys. Right, oh, good one. Is it this way around? Yeah, all the way down. So just all of that. Right. And then down in. Thought we did the last big climb, but there's one to go. Shouts out again to Rupert, Mountain Fuel. These gluten free bars are peng. There's three different flavours. There's a date one, there's a ginger one. And there's this turmeric one, and they're all really nice. Gluten-free oat bars, vegan. Oh yeah, and have this now. Turmeric and orange, this one. Cheers. Hello there. How do you? You all right? Yeah, you? I'm fine, thanks. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys. See ya. Just gone over 2,000 meters of climbing. I think it's all downhill from here. 13 miles, so about three miles to go back. Legs are feeling it. Beautiful views of uh, Durham Water and Keswick over there. I've said it before, so forgive me if you've heard it before, but I think this stuff is important to reiterate and repeat, so I will. Going out into nature, going out with people, going out on your own, going out on your own, very important. But go for walks, go for walks with people, with friends, with family members. It helps conversation flow, clears the air rather than in a house, things can get congested. Four walls, conversations, certain people have hierarchies. When you're walking next to each other on a nice trail, walk around a lake, up a hill, you are equals walking together. You can have the conversations. You'll notice when you're walking uphill, your heart rate goes up. Your, there's a, a fear response in your body as you notice with all exercises so your mind might drift especially if you're on your own and well and with people you feel the same way the conversation might go to a more uh, emotional one let's say a sort of challenging emotionally challenging potentially a, uh, reactive you might say some things that you wanted to say it brings these things up you might think some things a number of times I've had I've been frustrated with something often online and I won't respond and I'll go out and I'll be on a run or a walk up a hill and I'll have all these answers in my head 
I'll do this, I'll write this, I'll respond this way, I'll make this video and I get to the top and I take a breath and I start walking back down, I'm running back down and I feel like a kid and I'm light and my, my blood's been flowing, I've been sweating I let it go it doesn't matter, there's no point responding if you misunderstood, you, can, you can't explain until you're blue in the face it's not going to change things sometimes there's no point reacting that way let it go if it's important then the right conversation will happen but exercise is there as a tool to exercise emotions negative energies it's not about having it's not about never having negative thoughts or responses that you want to make these things will happen it's about going into them and if you go into them with exercise you might notice it in the gym you go into it with exercise Feel a type of way. All right. Hey. Yeah, you might notice it when you're working out. All this this person in your life made you feel this way, and you want to say this and this and explain this way. And if only they saw it your way. And at the end of it, ah, release. You might not feel the need to say it anymore. You might let it go, or you might have found a clearer way to say it, or, or cleared the negative energy and found a way to respond rather than react. Find a purer place. Got your own empowerment back. They can't take your power. The hills are healing. The mountains, it's medicine, especially for the short-term things. Some of the deeper traumas, you might need deeper, more. Uh, Stripping medicines, medicinas, I uh, mushrooms to get into those deep areas that it's harder to access. <laughs> Rebirthing, breath work. But for a lot of the day to day stuff, that is the daily practice of exercises for to exercise your reactions, your reactive self. And the beauty of doing it with the hills and the mountains is. Nature decides, decides the steps, the paths, the gradient. Fresher air, sunshine, healthy sunshine. Healthy greenery for the eyes, for the heart chakra. Nature's one of the best ways, and the exercise is there, your gym, yeah. If you have it, if you can seek it. As I say, it's not about not having these. It's about having them, using it as fuel, putting on the fire, burning out, burning it out, letting it go. Releasing. Taking your power back. Enjoy the outdoors, guys. I didn't realize how hot my face was. <laughs> yeah, I see. Hey, thought the battery died. So my battery cut out just as I finished. Turns out when I checked the footage, the camera was dead. But uh, finished about six hours ago now, seven hours ago. Still in Keswick, just watched those Bob Graham people finish. Two of the four made it. <laughs> 24 hours later. One of them made it with just 10 minutes to spare. Come on. Come on, hey. And you got him in. <laughs> 23 hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> done it. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a great day out in Keswick. Headed down to Kendall tonight for a little party, solstice party. And then I'm sticking around for another week of more adventure. Look at that skidor in the background. It's a special town, this place. If you've ever come to England, I'd recommend checking it out. If you're ever in England and you've never been, check it out. See you in the next one. Godspeed. <laughs>